Hello there, welcome to my channel, Mo Moon Tarot. My name is Mo Moon and today I have a video for you called 13 important tips to practice your craft at work. And in, in brackets I have discreetly. So 13, 13 important tips to practice your craft discreetly at work. Now, um, some of us have lives where we we are YouTube, YouTube stars and we make money with our own businesses and others of us um, do other kinds of jobs where we work for a boss and we have a company that oversees our work and that's kind of where I'm at. I work at a local hospital as a patient care attendant and as I've been working uh, on my witch's journey, I have picked up a few tips to uh, practice your craft discreetly at work. And when I say craft, I mean witchcraft. So tip number one is a really good one because it helps you to be able to have a space that you can call your own. Even if it's just a locker, a work desk, desk or as um, extravagant as an office, if you have your own office. So decorate your space is the first tip. Uh, I have a locker at work and in my locker I have a Halloween mat where I put my shoes. I have some artwork up that I got from different witch subscription boxes. I have some Halloween stickers stuck up against the wall. Um, and I have a mirror and I have um, different items that reflect who I am and my craft. So that's the first tip is to decorate your space. Make it make a space that you can, you can call your own that reflects who you are as a witch. Tip number two is use moon water to empower your spirit. Spritz it on yourself before work on break or after work. Speak a mantra that empowers you at the same time. So usually I have a bottle of moon water in my locker. So you might wanna um, make some moon water and put it in a spray bottle and keep it in your locker or on your desk or in your office or wherever else you're able to go to to put your stuff away. And um, Use that moon water whenever you feel a little bit stressed or discouraged or even just to liven up your mood. So you can spray the moon water on yourself um, on your breaks, before work, after work, um, whenever you go back to your space and you feel like you need it. Usually the mantra I say, and I'll leave it in the description box down below, is I, I spray the moon water on me at work and I'll say moon water empowering me, setting my soul and my spirit free as magic is now embodied in me. This is my will and so it should be and so it is. So I'll leave the, the mantra down below in the description box if you want to try to make it your own and spray the moon water on yourself at work saying that kind of thing. It's not difficult to make moon water. Most people know how you just have to take like a jar and um, add some fresh water to it and put it out during the full moon or during a different phase of the moon, um, keeping in mind that the moon will make the water magical. So tip number three is wear a piece of jewelry to represent your magical self. So for me, I would wear like probably not all these necklaces, although if you, if you, if you want to, you could, but like, let's say I just put my opal stone on around my neck and um, you, you, my collar goes up to here. It's pretty high when I'm at work. I wear a uniform, so usually people don't see my necklaces. But even like sometimes I'll, I'll like I'll wear my rings. I have my pentacle ring, which I never take off. I have my moonstone ring here, and I have a ring that my partner gave me that says our names on it. So for me, the moonstone ring symbolizes my goddess and my god that I first started out on this witch's path with. So I never take that one off. And also I have my pentacle ring for protection and also just to express who I am as a pagan. So that's tip number three, wear a piece of jewelry to rep represent your magical self. It could even be a cute pair of earrings, you know, depending on what you're allowed to wear at work. Tip number four is 
place a crystal in your bra or your pocket or whatever little space you can put it into. I usually wear a crystal necklace, but I'll also put a few crystals in my bra. Um, it's funny because sometimes they fall out at work, but uh, it's not often, but sometimes they do. So it's crystals have healing magic to them and they also help to raise your vibration and also protect you and all the many um, uses that crystals have. So before you go to work, let's say you have a clear quartz and you can just um, encode that crystal with what you want its, its intention to have for you. So let's say you take a black obsidian because you don't feel very strong and you want to feel protected. So you would put your black obsidian in your pocket or in your bra or wherever you could put it to um, keep it safe. Tip number five is roll essential oil with intention on your person. So um, if you have one of those little essential oil bottles with a little rolly top on it, um, you can roll the, the essential oil on your arm or on your neck or on your forehead. I have an essential oil that's made of dragon's blood and it's in a little rolly bottle. And I'll do a pentacle on my forehead with the rolly bottle and I'll say by earth, by air, by fire, by water, by spirit, I am protected. Or I'll say by earth, by air, by fire, by water, by spirit, I'm connected to reconnect to my intuition and to my magical self when I feel like I'm getting dragged down by the, mon the mundane energy of work, you know, because a lot of people just see work as work. But if you're a witch, you want to see your work as where you need to be and, and your potential to make a change. So you don't want to feel dragged down. So if you have any essential oils, put them in a little rolly bottle and you could even write something on your arm. You could write free or magical um, and just have the intention that you are putting that into your body as you are rolling essential oil on your body. Tip number six is be yourself. Be yourself. Don't be ashamed of your personality. So, you know, you don't have to go around telling everybody you're a witch. It might just be obvious to most people. Um, but don't be shy to be yourself. If you have a conversation with somebody, don't be shy to just express how you really feel. Um, I know it's easy to feel intimidated by certain people at work sometimes, but just be confident in yourself. It's nice to have all these extra tips and tricks to make yourself feel good, but try to just be yourself and um, people will in time learn to understand you and learn to accept you and even maybe learn to like you. Tip number seven is remind yourself of yourself when feeling overwhelmed. So what I mean by that is sometimes we get overwhelmed by work and we feel like we just need a break. Well, you could go to the washroom if you have an opportunity and just sit quietly on the toilet if you want, you know, and just say to yourself, what am I hearing right now? And you just think about what you're hearing. Maybe you're hearing the hum of the air vent, you know, and that's what comes to your mind. Or maybe you're hearing people walking by the door and you're like, and you just make it obvious to yourself. Reconnect with your senses. What am I hearing? What am I smelling? What am I tasting? Even if you're not eating anything, like what's the taste in my mouth right now? What am I seeing? So what are you looking at? What are you paying attention to? What am I feeling? So how are you feeling? If you're feeling overwhelmed, say I'm feeling overwhelmed. And what am I touching? So maybe you could touch your heart and just be like, I'm touching my heart. I'm feeling my heartbeat. It's good to just bring your focus back to center because as witches, sometimes we get overwhelmed with the energies and the sensory inputs that are coming in. So it's good to just bring yourself back to focus and center. Tip number eight is use silence when necessary. So don't speak if you feel called to be quiet or if you must speak, choose your words purposefully. Don't allow the excitement or the busyness of work to make you forget your intention as a witch. Speak purposefully, choose using your 
choose using your inner compass and your intuition exercise your intuitive abilities so if somebody's asking you a question you don't have to answer them right away like you can take a few seconds and think about what you want to say and you know sometimes work can feel like a rush it could feel really rushed but it's okay to bring that rush to a, a little bit of a, a stop and just recenter again think about what your intuition wants to say and then answer the question um you know usually if you can if there's a rush and somebody asks you a question and you don't know how to answer that just take a, a few moments and say um can i just think about this for a second and or you could say um hmm you know and use that to buy some time hmm um but use silence when necessary if if it's something that you don't need to speak uh towards you know maybe it's not a question maybe it's just a conversation and you just you you're feeling the call to just stay still and be quiet listen to your intuition when your intuition is telling that telling you that tip number nine is don't force yourself to do something you're not responsible to do so or don't over exert your energy um most I feel like most witches are empaths. They are very sensitive. So it's easy to force yourself to do something you're not responsible to do at your job or to over overreach your job. I know that um, in the past, I used to think that I had to get everything done. And then I, and usually I was the one pulling all the weight and everyone else was having an easy ride. And I was here forcing myself to work hard and work hard and work hard be responsible for everybody's happiness on the floor. Um, it's really important as an empath to just know your boundaries and um, know when you are giving too much and when you're overextending your ability to help. Um, it's not bad to conserve your energy. Of course, if somebody asks you to do something, you know, you want to do it, but if you're not being asked to do something and you feel like you're already giving a lot, just listen to yourself and slow down. And if somebody really needs something from you, they'll ask you. And if you want some time to get it done, just say, can I have a few minutes? Or do you mind if I get it to you in this amount of time? Um, it's easy as empaths to feel like you have to be in charge of making everybody happy. But also you have to remember that your job is not to make everybody happy. Your job is to do your best and to make you happy. So tip number 10 is be helpful. People may or may not know you're a witch, but don't create a problem for yourself by being rude or unfriendly. Assume people know you're a witch and leave them with a positive assumption. So don't purposely make enemies. Um, I don't. I know I don't need to tell you that, but... You know, if people did know you were a witch, you, they may not know at work. People may not know that you're a witch or maybe you've never actually come out and said it or maybe, you know, nobody's pointed it out. So, it, you know, I know that at my job, um, I don't really think anybody knows I'm a witch. It's not, I mean, it's not something that I um, advertise, but that doesn't mean that um, they don't know. It just means that no one's ever said anything to me about it. Um, so but I don't try to cause problems at work. If there's somebody that I don't get along with, I use my intelligence and I talk to the person about it in due time and I try to figure out a solution. And work is about respect anyways. Work is about respecting your colleagues. And so I know I don't have to tell you not to be rude, but Sometimes people might say something to you that you might interpret the wrong way. Don't be rude about it. Just um, remember that you're representing um, witches all over the world. And it's very important to leave people with a good impression of witches in general. So not just for that, also just to get along with your colleagues and, colleagues and have a good team. But also just imagine that people know, know you're a witch and you want them to think positively about witches. Tip number 11 is meditate on break, which is a very big one. Oftentimes I would be rushed in the morning. So when I would get to work, I would have a few minutes and I would 
before work, I would do a meditation um, or I would do a meditation on my um, coffee break um, early, uh, like later at night so that I could refocus and recenter and reconnect and reprotect myself. So if you have any time to meditate on a break and you feel like you're be being called to do so, that is definitely one tip to be able to practice your witchcraft discreetly at work. Tip number 12 is create protective mantras as you go or use mantras that you already know work for you. So obviously you don't have to say these things out loud. You can say them in your head and that's usually what I do. You don't really want to go around talking to yourself. It's not really a good sign to most people. But if you have a weird feeling or you're feeling uncomfortable, one mantra that I really feel helps is my energy is mine and so is my attention. If I feel like my energy is being sapped somewhere, I'll say my energy is mine and so is my attention. If I feel like my attention is being distracted, I'll say my energy is mine and so, and so is my attention. And it usually brings me back to myself. You could think of other um, mantras as well. I am safe. I am protected. I am divine. I am connected. Um, I am exactly where I need to be. I am doing my life's purpose. Um, just things that affirm to you that you're on the right track. You could always say those things in your head or if you take a bathroom break and you want to say them out loud to, to yourself, I am safe, I am protected, I am divine, I am connected. You know, um, it's always important to use mantras to um, make yourself feel good. Tip number 12 is create protective, oh, right. I already said that one. Tip number 13 is wear clothes that reflect your craft however you can. So at my job, I wear a, a hospital um, shirt and pants, a scr scrubs, I guess you could call them. But I um, I sometimes wear, especially with COVID, uh, I don't want to wash my hair every night, so I'll wear a hat. A lot of the nurses and doctors and um the hospital workers wear um, specific scrub top, scrub hats. They're made for the hospital. They have little um, buttons for the mask to go around on the side so you don't have to put it behind your ears. Um, they have different patterns, cute patterns. Usually what I'll wear, which I find is more my style and more along my witchy uh, look, is I'll wear like one of those... Um, like one of the, it looks like a fortune teller's cap it's it's um it's like a hat and it has like it, it's drawn at the front it, it kind of looks like a fortress te fortune teller's cap um but i put my hair up underneath the cap and i wear that cap and i've had a lot of compliments about the the cap that i wear and a lot of people say well that wouldn't look good on me but it suits you so for me that's one way that i express my witchy um aesthetic if you are able to let's say dress the way I am you know to go to work if you work in retail or whatever maybe you can wear a little bit more something that is along your your style but definitely wear clothes that reflect your craft however you can and even to the littlest detail maybe a pair of socks that has pumpkins on it or um, a pair of Halloween earrings you know that's very discreet or a, a bracelet with crystal, a crystal bracelet. Um, this is talking about jewelry, but also clothing, like some a piece of clothing that you feel that is close to your heart when it comes to you being a witch. Uh, um, but like, so those are the 13 tips on how to practice your witchcraft discreetly at work, but ultimately being true to yourself, however you However you practice, um, if you just stay true to yourself, you will find a lot of tips and trips, trick, tips and tricks on your own. These are just a few that I've thought of while I was at work and in my working situation, but I hope they were helpful to you. Feel free to try them. If you do, leave some comments down below on what you tried or what you already do, or if there's something that you do that I haven't mentioned, I'd love to hear some more tips and tricks to be able to practice my craft discreetly at work. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you want to comment, like I said, please do, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you would like to, please do. I'd love to have you here. And if you do subscribe to my channel, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload a new video. If you want a private personal tarot or Lucifer channeling reading from me, you can always go to my Etsy shop. It's called Experiential Healing. I'll leave the link in the description bar down below. Have a great day. Bye.